Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to the May edition of the monthly celebration. This is a collaboration that I'm doing with um, Coley being here on YouTube and also five, five more people, I believe. Um, and they're all talented scrapbookers and I love that we all have our own style. So when you're watching all of our videos, you will pick up, well, I certainly pick up um, a a technique or an idea from each one of them when I watch their videos. So make sure that you check out the description below because their links will be there. And we do this uh, every the, um, 15th, the 15th day of every month and we sh share a layout that features something that we celebrate for that particular month. And another thing that I'm doing for this year, because I did this a couple of years ago with Nicole and um, with that one, I kind of made myself another challenge which is to make sketches. Um, with this one, I have like a Pinterest board and I put ideas in there and I kind of use that as a, um, a place to house all the ideas that I wanted to use for this particular um, series of layouts. And so if you're ever interested in what kind of things I'm pinning or I'm uh, the, in, the inspirations that uh, go behind the the pages that I create, make sure that you check out the, the, the description below because it will have a link to the Pinterest board as well. So let's get on it. So for May, the thing that we celebrate is mine and uh, uh, my husband's and I's wedding anniversary. We were married in May of 18, May 18, um, 2002. And so um, that May is basically the day, well, I mean, Mother's Day as well, but it's mostly to celebrate our anniversary. And so with this particular layout, I'm actually gonna do kind of like a he said, she said type of layout because it's been a while since I've done it. So before I go onto the pictures in the actual project, uh, products that I'm going to be using for this particular kit. Let me share with you this stack of um, items that I have here on the left side. So basically, uh, these are items that have, have that have been in my new to me products uh, pile. Um, you know, sometimes I'd go to Tuesday morning and grab a few things, and you know, just can't help myself. <laughs> and then, anyway, so I've I've purchased, or some people have gifted it to me. Um, some items and that bin, that little basket have just been growing and so I decided that I need to pull out some things from there, not just use my scraps or the things that I put away or things like that. Like I need to use some new to me items. So these are the items that I plan on using, not just for this particular project, but for the next two months. So two, no, two to three months. So that is my plan as far as monthly celebration is concerned. So I'm going to put this aside um, after I'm done with my May and then pull it out again when I'm doing my June and then my July and see if there's anything left. But basically there's a lot of, I believe these are all Bella Boulevard. Yeah. Oh no, this one's Heidi Swap. Anyways, this one is a black and white. I figured I would use black and white tabs because I would never know what color I'm going to be using. So I want to use that one. I found this one on Tuesday morning. It was kind of in the um, clearance aisle and it's just white. So I thought that I could use that for whatever color that I have wanted to use. And then this one, um, these are just um, acetate words from Heidi Swap. And I feel like um, this one would work well, if, especially if I have those blocky letters, that this kind of font will just blend itself well for that kind. And then um, this one's Black Hearts. Again, I wanted to go neutral because I don't know what color scheme that I will have and I know neutrals will work well. This one is a uh, illustrated faith and, and it just has that, again, blocky letters. So I could um, mix match these, um, this kind of font or descriptive font and then the block letters and then a red one. Just because I have it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I think I'm going to be able to use it, especially if it's like July where it's like 4th of July type of pay, um, page. So we'll see. Again, that's like three months from now. We'll see if I change my mind. So on to the layout. Um, I picked three photos. These are uh, just kind of extra photos that I've had over the years of me and my husband. So this is, uh, I think this was 2016. This one was 2017, maybe 2018. I got to look at my... This one's 2016. This one's 2015. And then this one was 20, 2017. So 15, 16, and 17. And these are just extra photos. And like I said, my plan is to do a he said, she said um, layout. So that's why I'm just using extra photos. And then I found this in my stash. It says, so in love, 
or happy thoughts. So maybe that will work as my title, I don't know. And then these are all just um, pocket page cards from Project Life. Um, I bought a big stack of the wedding themed Project Life. I believe I got it at Goodwill, I can't even remember. But anyways, of course, you know, with, when you buy the kits, there's a lot of items in there. And so I just pulled out some stuff. Um, of course, the wedding is mostly like, um, the, the themes of the cards are mostly for the wedding day itself, but there are some pages or cards rather that would work well for marriage. So I'm going to be, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to incorporate that. I also like this word that says the story we are writing together because I would like us to write the he said, she said part, like the journaling part. So I'm going to see about that. And then this is where the prompt of the journaling would be is what I love about him and what I love about her. And then there's the every day is better than when I'm with you. So I honestly don't know <laughs> how I'm going to incorporate all of these items in the page. We will see, but I hope that you follow along. Again, make sure that you check out the description below and let's get on to making this layout. Okay, so now we're going to um, make the page and I decided to make circles out of all of those project life cards and I use a nesting die from my favorite things to do that. I also realized that when I was putting the layout together that the colors of the project life were very were just very pastel-y and very light and so I needed more colors so I went to my basically my paper stash or paper scrap stash and then grabbed some papers that would look good um, alongside the very soft colors of the project life cards so I went with kind of a, a light blue um, there are some pinks in there and some oranges um, but I think layering them on top or underneath some of the cards worked really well and then um, I also added of course some papers with hearts and then um, I'm just layering them I found a an inspiration on Pinterest it's actually a scrapbook page where um, the circles were going from top to bottom and so I thought I would do that kind of like um, a wavy style so it goes from top left and then it works the circle goes kind of to the right and then down to the center and then ends up in the bottom left and then I also cut out my uh, my photos in three different circle sizes so now that I've kind of seen where I would none of the circles not none of the items on my page is adhered um, but I, I just wanted to put them all together just kind of see how it's gonna look at the end and then um, I'm going to ink the edges now um, initially I had wanted those four by six to be the four by six journaling cards or project life cards to be my journaling cards but I ended up deciding to just do a single page instead of double page and at first I said well maybe I could just trim those out but it just didn't work out. I think they they look better as a 4x6 rather than a 3x4. So I went through um, my cards again and then found two 3x4 cards that um, had kind of the same journaling prompt and that's what I used and then the happy thoughts that's um, a die cut that is from I believe a dear Lizzie pack and um, so I ended up not using the words from that acetate sheet from Heidi Swap that I initially wanted um, I like Heidi Swap's hand lettering the my beef about the, that letter sticker or the acetate pack is that the words just doesn't I don't know it's just like the words are cheeky flirt adorbs I don't know they're just they're not the kind of words that I would use for my titles and so I had a hard time with that and then I found this in my stash and it works well because we are going to be writing our thoughts and and it's mostly happy I hope <laughs> um, so um, I just thought that that would be a good title and then um, because the words are very or the font is very skinny I decided to just go uh, with a spray adhesive to adhere that one and then um, I will be adding some of the elements that I pulled out like the um, Bella Boulevard 
tabs and then also hearts now you might be wondering my voice is different um, I do have a cold I'm separate I'm suffering from a cold and I had waited um, my in, in my consideration um, till the very last minute to do this of course I didn't do it the last minute but looking at my schedule in the next few days this is like the only good time for me to do the voiceover before this is due so I apologize if my, if my voice is um, pretty rough <laughs> I, I do feel crappy um, but um, I hope that next month I will have better voice for you. So basically that's my page. Um, I will add a few, like I said, a few of the tabs here and there. And um, I will not be writing on those four, three by four cards um, until after I photograph this. I figured um, some of the things that we write in our journaling is not, not for public consumption so um, this is one of those um, ones that I will de I'm deciding that um, the journaling will be after if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below I hope that you guys have been enjoying this um, series that I have with some very talented scrapbook youtubers and uh, make sure that you check out their links down below and I will catch you guys on another video bye